What's up YouTube? Poplar Mechanic here. It's another cold and snowy day so we're going to be doing this video inside my office and today we're going to be talking about the DMM Captain Hook Long Lanyard. Let's get right into it. Before we start today's video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Arb Fiction. I recently won this uh, Protos helmet off of Instagram. So we can go ahead and just take a quick look. So obviously I didn't pay for this because I won it, but uh, they do some really super cool, unique uh, Arborist design stuff. And uh, like this is just one of the things. So obviously I won this, but they also do t-shirts. Um, uh, tree gear all kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and leave that link in the description and you can check that website out for yourself Okay guys, so before we talk about the lanyard uh, the long lanyard I just want to go ahead and talk a little bit about the DMM captain hook and how you can buy it So I believe you can buy just the hook so You can buy it just like this as is it comes with a shackle on the bottom you can see there you can take it off uh, to put whatever you want on there, a spliced rope or whatever. And then it's also got this little set screw right there. Um, and that just ensures that even if this nut comes off, the pin can't come out. Um, so that's, that's pretty safe, but just keep in mind this isn't to be used for primary life support. I just want to make that clear. It's just to sort of transition to different trees uh, or whatever you might be doing. Uh, if you buy the kit, it comes with a sewn eye on the end of this 45 foot rope. Okay, and then you also get this bag. Now this bag is pretty nice, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. I like it. I'm going to store my lanyards in here because I won't be... You know, they sort of designed it so you could take it up the tree with you. Uh, the problem with that that I find though, it is a nice put together kit, but the problem is you're not really using your hook enough. Like I've maybe used it in this form a handful of times. Um, a much better way to use it, in my opinion, is just to splice yourself a long lanyard. So, like I said, you get about 45 feet of rope in this kit. Um, but I ended up splicing up myself a 25-foot lanyard, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Well, it's about 27, but it, it's about 25-foot usable uh, that you could use for uh, putting the hook on. Uh, it's just a lanyard with a carabiner on the end. You can put the hook on, and that way it's a lot... Uh, it's a lot quicker and easier than bringing this whole bag and having a whole different setup for it. Um, obviously, it's still situational. I just wanted to point that out. You're not always going to, you know, be using a 27-foot lanyard, but you'll know when the time is right. So let's go ahead um, and have a look at the lanyard. So like I said earlier, I spliced myself a 27-foot lanyard. So you can see there's... I just made this myself. I do have videos on splicing. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you're looking to splice this double braid. Uh, so there's nothing too fancy about this. Like I said, 27 feet. It's got an eye on this end. And then what I like to do with my lanyards, especially if they're longer, I splice these rings into the back of them. And that way you can go ahead and you can stow this on your saddle and then I usually just tie an overhand knot uh, you might have to do a little bit extra if you got a 27 footer but uh, basically it just keeps it neat and tucked away until I'm ready to use it so that's why I really like having these rings on the other end um, and the other plus side is obviously you can't uh, fall out of the end of your rope I mean obviously you put a knot but you know what I mean it's just a guaranteed knot in the end of your rope um, in this case I've got a DMM Pinto a Rock O this is Tachyon Surge, and I'm using a GM climbing pressic with a catalyst hitch in it. So it looks like this. Now, keep in mind, guys, you can use whatever you want for this lanyard. This is just like anything would work. The Xeon, Akimbo, a Hitch Hiker, anything you want to use would work perfectly fine for this situation. Uh, this is just what I had kicking around because I do have, I've got about four different lanyards now that I use in different situations, but this one works great for this. Uh, one thing I do like about the Pinto is you can go ahead and clip to this Beckett. And then even if you're not using the hook, um, you've, got a, you've got a really awesome little mini double rope system, right? It, you, know, you guys know how these Pintos work. They just work flawlessly. So now that we know how the lanyard functions and the length, uh, 
we can go ahead and implement the next part of this. Now it's very simple and it's very basic. All we're going to do is we're going to take the hook and we're going to clip it onto the carabiner. And now you've got a throwing hook with some good distance on it. I feel like 50 is too much. Like, I mean, if you're really going to go that far, just grab another rope system. You know what I mean? You can, you can also just grab, you know, the zigzag or something else and clip this hook on. But I feel like this is right at that uh, length that's just perfect and it's manageable. Um, another thing is you don't have a large bag attached to you. So normally, in a normal situation, you'd be up the tree you'd be calling down, okay, tie the DMM kit to the rope, which is fine, and it would work good in most situations. But this way, what I can do is, so normally I don't use this. So this little micro carabiner won't be on here. I just had it together for the kit. But you can go ahead and see it looks like this. So I use those little Petzl Kara tools most of the time, and this will flip right on there. And what I like about that is, instead of being orientated, sticking out and away from your saddle, like it would be like this and catching on things and just sticking out too far. I would just hang the hook like this right from the shackle. And that way it's it's very uh, close to your body and it's not going to get snagged on anything and it's really light. So I mean to have this with me in that lanyard is practically unnoticeable. So that's what makes this really cool because you're more likely to, to take advantage of... Uh, of the benefits of the hook if you have it uh, you know a lot easier to employ and use so that's basically all you're going to do guys is hook this um to the end and then you've got a really sweet lanyard so you i wish we could i wish it wasn't cold out because i could i would do a little demo and i will do that for you guys but i mean it's pretty straightforward it's no different than using the hook and you can go ahead and throw this um as long as you're tied into a different primary point and you can transition over to different trees. It's really slick and quick. All right, guys. So just one more thing I wanted to touch up on. Um, the reason I think this double rope system, so like I said, you could go ahead, you could use an SRT device here um, of your choice. But the reason I think this double, mini double setup is more practical uh, is because Although with SRT, you get more length. So let's say I used, I threw the hook, I transitioned over to the next tree. Um, I'm sort of ready to set up and start cutting there as well. But if I was to go SRT and then start moving around, what would happen here is that uh, I wouldn't be able to retrieve this line. And that's why I just think that double is a lot more practical because I mean, you've already utilized the length of the rope uh, throwing your hook and getting over there. And then you can go ahead and uh, just have a mini double rope system, which is, say I'm tied in a different tree, now I'm tied into the one I just got into, I can sort of rappel out now um, and do some cutting, and then I can retrieve this and move it to a different, uh, situa uh, different spot, right? Uh, so that's one of the benefits, I think, of... I, I wouldn't overcomplicate it, right? And the other thing is you can... Um, you can cinch this around a spar and still utilize SRT even with a Pressic and a Pinto. It's just not optimal for coming down. So keep that in mind as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, and I hope you get some more use out of your captain hook using the long lanyard method. I just think it's a lot more practical um, and the truth is it really is a good tool. Um, you know, when I first got it, I was like, ah, you know, I might use it here and there, but it's got me out of a really uh, couple of tricky situations, right? Just being able to implement this hook and getting yourself over there. Uh, so now that I have this long lanyard, um, and the thing is, you're not going to be using it all the time, guys. It's not like, oh, I'm climbing, I'm taking the hook. We know that that's not the case. But if you have a long lanyard ready to go, because usually if you're planning on using the hook, you're going to be in a wide span tree to begin with. Uh, so this is just going to help your mobility. If you think you need your long lanyard, just hang the hook on the back of your saddle and then it's ready to go because honestly, I think it is uh, a pretty important and useful tool in my opinion, although you're not going to use it for most of the climbs. I mean, I think it's fair to say that when you do need it, it's really useful. So if you're going to buy it, I would recommend just getting the bare hook and either splicing or buying um, a longer custom lanyard to work with it. And that way, uh, when the situation does arise, you have it in your bag and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.